All right, welcome back to the next playthrough of the SCP Containment Breach series. Unfortunately, uh, my last game crashed, so I have to basically start a brand new uh, playthrough or brand new start for uh, for this game. That's which is unfortunate. I wanted to see where my map seed led me to, but uh, that's okay. I was able to skip the intro of the game, so it just takes me flat out right after the prison ma prison mates die. And uh, yeah, so let's see what happens after here. Let's continue off at this map seed. So we're playing on a new map seed. All right. Let's see what's in this this map. It's all randomly generated, kind of like Minecraft and all that. It's a randomly generated map with random things happening. Oh, holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. Is he still there? No. He's not there anymore. Thank God. What is that? Some black ink there. All right. So from last time, we're gonna so fuck you, Emily. That's weird. All right. There's nothing here. I got a note. All transfers to SCP-3651. Hey, hey, will. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm gonna reread that. All transfers to SCP-3651-A will be subsequently denied due to the heavy volume of researchers requesting to be transferred to one of the SCP Foundation's outposts in SCP-3651-A. That's a cliff. Interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, keep going. That's locked, okay. Let's open this door. Let's go ahead and close this door. And let's see here. Open this door? Okay. Okay, that sounded weird. That must be like a water container area. It's over here, another corridor, okay. So we're gonna leave this open just in case we get chased or something. I don't know. That's kind of peak. It's an elevator. Okay. We're not gonna go in there yet. We're not gonna go there. What the fuck? That does not sound good. Whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, these guys are fucking nuts for meddling with stuff that shouldn't be meddled with keeping these fucking things here in this facility and they can't even contain it so much for their fucking name what the fuck I just saw somebody I just saw a person what the fuck did you guys hear that? Sound like a girl talking or something, like guy getting choked out to death or some shit. I'm not going that way, especially when I saw somebody. Nope. After hearing that too, nope. So let's go back this way. Let's go this way. Let me blink. I should start blinking before I go into every room, just in case. Just in case for the uh, this guy right here. No wait, no, that's this guy. This guy. This guy. I have to. I always keep an eye contact with him, and I cannot blink. Or you will kill me and break my neck. Uh, oh, here's the room that we were in last time, in the last uh, episode. SCP-005, the shape-shifting key. I need a key card, though. I need access, so... Let's... I hear somebody walking and opening doors. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I heard somebody walking and opening doors. Let's go. Was that open or closed? I don't remember. I'm gonna keep going. Storage room. 
Alright, so far so good. Other than my fucking heart racing. Light testing chamber. I need I need everything. I need a keycard for everything in this place, don't I? That's blood. That's not a good sign. Anything on the roof? No. Is there anything I can uh, take off for you, my dude? Gonzalez. The Kim card, Jim Gonzalez. Fuck. Well, I'm glad I'm not Jim. So now that's another elevator. We'll wait for that. That'll probably be like our escape route. Some more fucking blood. This place is pretty big. Huh? Oh, what is this? Hello? What is this? The use of cameras or video equipment is prohibited. Well, too bad. I'm already recording. Oh, that's a dead security guard. What the fuck was that? Alright. So, air ducts, it's open. Yeah, I don't like that. Looks like something came in and out of that. Can I get in there somehow? Okay. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna keep going this way. I think the shortest way out is through the southeast shit, way. Shit, Follow shit, me. Shit, 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 shit. Closing the fucking door. I'm closing the fucking door. I'm closing the fucking door. Open it. Blink. I'm smarter than these fucking scientists. I know my shit. At least for the, at least for the monster I encountered earlier, from their first episode, and the clipboard. I guess I can get more stuff. Can I grab this or no? I can. Incident report: SCP 1048A. On blank, SCP was discovered wandering. Oops, wandering site 24. Accompanied by SCP-1048, subject resembles a teddy bear similar in size and shape. That's the teddy bear we were reading about last time. Similar in size and shape to SCP-1048, but it is made entirely of human ears. Dr. Carver was called to the scene along with the security team. The security team was arrived first and attempted to contain the subject. Subject emitted a high-pitched shriek that inflicted intense pain in the eyes and ears of everyone in a 10-meter radius. Okay, I hear something. Like a fucking statue. Read this later. If you want to read that, you can pause the video. Okay, we have some stuff here. We have a key card and some documents here. Okay. We have some batteries. So now that we have a key card... Maybe we can open up some doors. Nope. Can we open up this door? This room is SCP-372. Object, object class Euclid. All right, let's go ahead and close this fucking door. I don't feel safe. Let's see if we can open this door. We can't. All right. Well, be very. I hear a statue moving. I hope it's not who I think it is. It is him! Please, just keep eye contact with him. Eye contact, eye contact. Close the door. Or else he will kill me. me. Oh yeah, this is the weird room. I don't want to go in there. This is the death trap room. I don't want to be in here. Okay, so let's go backtrack. I have a security card now, right? So let's see if I can open up any doors from where I first came. Come on now. Come on. What about the, the shape shifting key? 
No, not even the key? Alright, I guess we're going to the creepy room where I saw the other person. Hello? I'm getting kind of lost, I'm not gonna lie. Let's keep going then, let's go this way. Fuck. Yeah, that's not good. Hello? Is anyone there? It's fucking nice music playing, this guy's dead. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why? What's happening? I heard something open. SCP checkpoint lockdown. Containment system failure. At containment SCP-008. Looks like SCP-008 is fucking out of containment. That's okay. I don't know anything about that uh, thing. I guess we'll find out more later. Oh, looks like we might be able to enter SCP-1123. It's object class safe. Yeah, we're able to go in here. Let's go ahead and close this door. Let's see the documents for this SCP here. It says, don't touch, immediately on the paper. Clearance level two, SCP-1123, object class safe. SCP-1123 is to be kept in a hermetically sealed container. An argon gas atmosphere when not being tested during storage temperatures should be between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius and relative humidity at 53, I think? It's kind of like smudged with the little marker there. SCP-1123 should not be handled except during a controlled experiment. All right, so we should probably not touch this thing, huh? Um... Uh, SCP-1123 is a human skull missing the lower mandible and all its teeth. Across the forehead is modern Khmer script written in human blood that translates as remember. When a subject approaches SCP-1123, they will report anomalous sensory phenomenon, including smells such as cooking meat or ashes. I hear something open. Okay, let's keep reading. Sounds such as soft crying, low heartbeats, or breathing, or distant footsteps. That's fucking creepy. And tactile responses. What? Responses? Such as grit in the eyes or glass splinters in the sole of, of the feet? Uh, I don't think I should be in this fucking room. Okay, let's keep reading. When subjects touch the surface of this entity, they will experience a dissociative fuge state. Initiation of the fuge state appears instantaneous. The fuge state is characterized by confusion, disorientation, and adoption of a new identity. I keep hearing things. This game is freaking me out. New identity and memories which consist of knowledge, including language, previously unknown to the subject. Alright. So, it says it's safe, but it says we shouldn't touch it. So, we're going to go ahead and do the opposite of that and touch this thing. And, uh, I think I'm fucking ready. This is our first SCP. What the fuck? Mom, is that you? Fucking screaming and sh- It's scaring me. Oh, there's the SCP! Hey there, buddy! You look like um, a servitor from Warhammer. You're just missing some uh, machine components on your skull. So apparently this thing is pretty, uh... It has blood and scriptures on it that says... What does it say again? 
It says remember on the skull. And it says stuff happens when I approach it and stuff like that. And I get to hear stuff. And stuff happens to me, so... Just to be safe, I'm going to put on a gas mask. Because I don't know what this thing may carry. I can smell stuff. If it messes with my senses, right? That's what it says on the paper, on this, on this document. I'm going to go ahead and put on the gas mask. Like a true scientist. And we're going to go ahead and see what the heck... Ah, oh, how disappointing. I need a key card. I came this far. I will come back. I will come back. Let's take off the mask. We'll be back for you.